in our last session we saw how to apply the response spectrum floor weights like the one between the 0 to 43 and 43.5 to 46 the 12 and 10 for the top floor and floor live weight contribution for seismic is 50 percent so 4 kilonewton per meter square 50 percent 2 kilonewton we have taken per meter square and till this point we understood and next we'll go for the live and dead load configuration so first load case will be the dead load which is 12 kilonewton between your 0 to 43 meter that means except the top floor from the ground to till your below the top floor that is 43 feet so for that we will be applying the 12 kilonewton per meter square of dead load and that is the floor load contribution except the top floor and I will show you how you can apply this so under this load case details you need to create a case known as dead and live loads and under that you can see these are the load cases which we have to define and this is the case which I am talking about so minus 12 in y direction from 0 to 43 that you have to add and next you have to add between the 43.5 to 50 that means above the below this top floor level I will show you that means this is from the ground 42.6 so I have taken 43 to pick the range of this so this particular range that means the top floor will be at a higher height that is 45.8 so we have taken the range at 43.5 to 50 so it will pick the top floor and that will be minus 10 kilonewton per meter square which you can see so minus 10 kilonewton per meter square so this is the dead load contribution only for the top floor and this is the first load case which you have to configure next you have to configure the live load contribution for the floor load that is 4 kilonewton per meter square in the negative direction but you have noticed that we have not used negative in case of your seismic load definition so all are 12 10 and 2 but here we are defining minus 12 minus 10 and this because seismic load contribution it has to be a absolute value you cannot use negative values inside the floor weight calculation for the seismic definition so you have to define that particular magnitude and direction in your live load and dead load contribution and next we are going for the minus 1.5 kilonewton per meter square of load contribution so this is basically the live load contribution for only the top floor so except the top floor for rest of all the floor we are taking minus 4 kilonewton per meter square and for the top floor you can take even 2 kilonewton per meter square but it is not required so minus 1.5 kilonewton per meter square will be sufficient because the load contribution as a part of the live load from the top floor will be roughly between 1 kilonewton per meter square to 1.5 so you can give this as a default values in any commercial project also if you know that your top floor is not exposed with the heavy live load contribution or factors which you need to consider and finally you have to define your self weight in the y direction that is minus y because g is acting downward so the self weight contribution also will be included in our first load case apart from your live load and dead load contribution factors so here you can see the five different load case one two three four and five will be the self weight so you have to add the self weight so when you go to the self weight the direction will be y and this is minus one and you have to add it then self weight will be calculated and you have to go to assign to view and to all the views you have to assign so in this way your first load case definition which comprises of your dead load and live load combination is ready and please note that 
the four different stages you need to apply over your structure very carefully the first thing is your dead load second load is your dead load for the top floor and this first load is dead load except of floor from the ground till the below the top floor and next third load case will be the top floor live load contribution and next is below the top floor till ground for all the floors this is the live load contribution which is minus 4 kilonewton per meter square so these are the five different cases which you have to consider before moving to seismic loads and repeated load case for your spectrum definition so in our coming session i will discuss about the second load case and its different side and configuration and what all different points you need to take care